Hi Scorpio, welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot and welcome to your cards for October. Buckle up, it's a big month. It's an emotional month. Um, this is kind of the culmination of all of 2020. Um, this last few months, so it's not just October because believe me, I'm gonna come back in November and probably tell you to prepare for yet another exciting, unpredictable month but October has a special ingredient in it and that is Uranus. It's interacting with that Mercury retrograde in your sign. It's opposing it, so it's gonna bring in a lot of sudden developments, things that we weren't expecting. As well, it's in Taurus. I'm picking up a theme on these readings now. I think that there were things a lot of us had manifested or wished for in the past. And I think for a couple of signs, there's kind of the sudden manifestation. However, the thing is, it's very sudden. It's very, oh my God, I don't even know if I want this anymore kind of feeling. Now, when I get into your cards, I have to tell you my back started to hurt really bad my, my my lower back which typically indicates to me that you're going through a sort of root chakra activation meaning your roots your emotional foundations you're changing at a really really deep level there's probably a lot of healing and you may not even be aware of it at this time you may be faced with a lot of situations kind of out of the blue that bring the past back. We have Mercury retrograde in your sign. We have Mars still retrograde, squaring Saturn, the planet of karma, which is starting to move direct. So yeah, karmic cycles are at play. And on top of that, we have Saturn and Jupiter both moving out of Capricorn in the next couple of weeks. And they will be um, conjunct meeting up in Aquarius in December. So these two major planets are closing out some really big cycles. So things are coming to you from the past, people from the past, which is apparent in your cards as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go back to the way that things used to be because that's a problem. We were manifesting these things and then 2020 came and we had all of this tremendous growth and now those things you manifested are starting to come to life in 3D and you have to make the decision, do I want to embrace this? Do I still want this? Does this still fit my vibration? It's a lot of growth and it's also a lot of accountability. It's kind of the same story as well if there were situations you found yourself in especially any kind of dishonesty, third party kind of situations, you could probably bet that those situations are gonna come back up in one way or another. It's probably not as scary, um, really the object, the objective of all of this is really so that we could forgive ourselves and move on and it really has very little to do with the other people in our lives. This is a lot of inner work that's coming to play now. And you know, the universe is kind of creating scenarios for us to heal some really old stuff we've been carrying around. We're closing out 20 year cycles, 40 year cycles, 150 year cycles. So we're also closing out ancestry cycles, family healing from family patterns, emotional issues. And you're going to see a lot of upheaval, a lot of people moving, a lot of people changing jobs. Like we've been seeing this already, but when that Mercury goes retrograde and we're kind of forced to look at things, we're going to get a really clear objective this month on what is truly happening, what's really going on, what are people's real intentions. And Pluto moves direct, so we're dealing with situations where people might feel desperate people might be really afraid right now at a core level i mean you look at what's going on collectively and sure there's fears there's anxiety and trust me when i tell you mercury involved with uranus is going to make you feel jittery and 
unstable for most of October. Stay hydrated, rest your body, turn to meditation because that's just the kind of intense energy. Scorpio is very good at dealing with intense energy. So I think you're gonna come out in a little bit better of a position. However, this is really affecting you. This is really activating what that whole story is with Uranus for you. If you haven't seen it already, Uranus in your seventh house of contracts, partnerships, deep connections with others is really going to start to activate now. And I think you're in for a little bit of a ride in October. So let's take a look at these cards. Scorpio, you are coming out as a queen of water. Right away, I could tell that you are kind of in your feels in October, okay? You have Mars in your sixth house, which is a very psychological house. It's there with Eris, Black Moon Lilith. They, we have a, a new moon, which is conjunct Chiron, which means you're going to be doing a lot of emotional work this month. This is deep emotional healing. And not only are you in your feels, but I think you're in a place of being able to truly give and receive love. I feel a heart opening here. I feel the opportunity for you to start inviting things in your life that do really serve you. So there may have been a theme. Now your environment cards, two came out. I put them back. They came right back out. So there's absolutely no doubt that this is the message you have the hierophant and death and reverse death and rebirth okay you've gone through some form of a transformation it was a spiritual journey you've learned a lot of lessons you've probably learned a lot of lessons within your emotions within being able to give and receive love opening up you know these are all really scorpio situations finding trust learning to trust yourself and gaining wisdom on how to control your emotions instead of allowing your emotions to control you. I don't want to ever paint a picture that emotions are bad. But if we jump on our emotions and we react, instead of really getting to the core of something, really investigating how it truly makes us feel, taking a step back, you know, thinking about it, taking your time with things, processing, you know, if you react every time that your feelings get hurt, it creates a lot of drama and chaos. Now, your overall energy is that of temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. You also pulled a Sagittarius new moon card. So there's probably a part of you that is trying to break free from something. That's the temperance card to me in this reading. The need to break free. Um, emotional freedom from maybe some burdens some emotional burdens some emotional deep thoughts areas where you haven't forgiven others or you haven't forgiven yourself in certain circumstances and temperance means it's kind of coming to the surface slowly you know um it's the alchemy so things are going to keep coming and coming and coming as we work through this um, and it's a pretty magical time. I, and I think temperance also represents, to me, you have no idea how much healing you're actually doing. You know, it could just be one brutal day after another and you're like, oh my God, when is this going to stop? But these things are happening in order to get you moving, in order to clear and make space for, so these things can come in. And you're doing it, which is why these things are going to happen. So let's get to your first three cards in the nine card block. We got the nine of cups in reverse, the judgment card, and the nine of pentacles. I think that you walked away from something. You left something behind or something ended. Uh, nine of cups in reverse can tell me that it was a situation that was actually draining you. Um, nine of Cups, really, it, it's something like you think it's your wish fulfillment, 
a situation where you keep trying to make it work maybe repeatedly and it just won't work and you find yourself drained and exhausted and ready to give up. The judgment card is, you know, that point of letting go of it. Um, and the judgment card often comes along for me in my readings where it's sort of this wake up moment where you realize that you can't do this anymore. You can't be in this situation anymore. You have to step away from something. Sometimes it could be stepping into something, but when it's next to the Nine of Pentacles, it tells me that whatever situation you were in, you chose yourself. You chose to do some work on your inner stability. Coming back to that um, root chakra thing that I talked about, there was an opportunity for you to walk away something so, from something so that you could regain your footing, re gain your grounding so it was probably a very chaotic situation nine of cups in reverse can also indicate to me at times um overindulgence so maybe you were in a relationship or a situation where um you know substance abuse was an issue or you know sometimes at nine of cards that nine of cups is where we try to fill void in our voids in our lives so it could be anything from, you know, shopping too much, spending too much money, um, being overly opti optimistic in situations. We could idealize people a little bit and the Nine of Cups in reverse really shows you what the reality is with that judgment card. You had to see the reality of a situation. You had to see somebody or something for what it truly was. And it was an opportunity for you to walk away. Now, next to this Nine of Cups card, comes the circle which tells me that what are sorry I can feel this retrograde mercury already um, the circle card tells me that whatever situation this was was a really emotional situation for you and it was a karmic cycle this was probably a karmic person in your life the circle often suggests that you are intrinsically tied together. There's probably telepathic ties. Now, I don't think you're with this person anymore, but I think there's a lot of internal communication. You're thinking about them a lot, and I have to tell you, when you're suddenly thinking about somebody from your past, oftentimes it represents that they are thinking of you. That's how energy works, whether you realize it or not. So. Um, you know, nothing is a coincidence. And I think maybe both of you are still a little bit tied to those cords. And there might feel like there's some unfinished business here, something that you have to close out. Next to this Nine of Pentacles, I have the Peace card. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Again, picking up on that Nine of Cups in reverse thing is that there seems to be something that was a little bit toxic about this situation. And I keep coming back to that feeling like you were drained. It could have been a situation where you kept giving and giving and giving and, um, and literally you became drained or maybe you were draining somebody else of their energy. Uh, sometimes this could play out in the 3D like somebody was actually spending way more money or investing more than the other. It could be showing that somebody was investing um, a lot more time or effort into a relationship than the other person. Um, the situation with that circle card is definitely a, a karmic situation, which means whether or not it works out, whether or not it doesn't necessarily mean it's supposed to have a happy ending, but there's a very important message. There's a very important lesson that you're here to teach each other because that's the sole contract between two people. You're teaching each other lessons and you're catapulting your spiritual growth. Even if it hurts, even if it's a tough situation, even if you have to walk away and do a whole hell of a lot of healing afterwards, trust me it moves you up it is it's a, it's a moment of ascension for you and right now like i explained with the planets 
it feels like we're being forced to really close this stuff out. So if there's elements of you, if there's pieces of you that still doesn't quite understand what really happened here, feeling like you don't know the whole story, you don't know the truth, maybe there were things left unsaid, maybe there were things left at each other's houses that you have to, I mean, who knows what the situation is, but you're being pulled back together energetically in order to close this out. Now, underneath that Nine of Cups, that card of you being drained is this King of Cups, card of Scorpio. Next to that is a card of regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Now, because this is a card of Scorpio, this could be your energy, but it doesn't really match with that Queen of Water energy. Please remember, this can be vice versa. But I'm going to take this as your person. Maybe you are dealing with another water sign in general. Um, King of Cups. I, I think this represents the person that you had this experience with. And I think that they are in a place of regret. I think that they're in a place of having to really see their part, their role in the situation. And maybe it's through their own existential circumstances. You know, sometimes when we have a wound or something that we refuse to heal, something that we kind of keep pent up within us, we tend to project that out in other such situations in our life. And that's kind of what I'm intuitively getting, that this person, this King of Cups person, is kind of going through circumstances in their life that's making them have to really look at the things that they did or said or the ways in which they hurt you. King of Cups can sometimes represent overcoming fears. And this person is obviously in a place of regret, but I think that they've had a lot of emotional growth as well. Remember, you're not the only person who's been through 2020. You're not the only person whose life has been upside down, chaotic, going through everything and changing. Okay, we've all been through this. So I think it's a particularly unique retrograde period because I think oftentimes I say, well, the ex comes back, you're just gonna keep doing that same thing. You're just gonna keep reliving that karmic cycle. However, this is unique because we're closing out cycles. So it's a really important time and I wouldn't, I wouldn't block this out. Okay, I think it's an experience that you're really meant to have. It doesn't mean you gotta get back together. It doesn't mean that you really have to hash out old things. It could mean that you see this person or run into this person and you realize they haven't had growth that you were right all the long all the time. You know, if you're in a place where you're regretting, maybe, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have walked away. I, I really miss that. And then you get back together with that person and you're like, oh yeah, they haven't changed at all. I, I still feel exactly the same. You know, it just brings you into this place of growth. Okay, now I'm ready for the next thing. Now I'm I'm making space. I've got this settled. I know exactly what this was about. So, you know, it doesn't help to kind of refuse to look at the situations, refuse communication, because there could be a lot of healing, especially at the beginning of the month. Now, we have the Page of Swords next to the King of Cups. So it's the King of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Justice card. Absolutely. This King of Cups with his regrets wants to open up communication page of swords. There's some kind of a truth. There's probably some kind of an apology. The Justice card. Now, it means that either they have the intentions of trying to make things right or at least making amends in the situation. It could mean that the universe is bringing the situation to you so that you can find emotional balance within but there's definitely communication with that page of swords. There's definitely some kind of truth. And uh, I'm looking at this justice card, it has apology written all over it. 
And I'm particularly drawn to the red surrounding this justice card, this, this um, person holding the scales. Oftentimes we get judgment and justice in the same reading because the judgment is something happening and justice is where it comes back into balance. So it doesn't mean that you have to get back together. It does not mean that this person is your end all be all. It just means that you have to bring something to a close so that you can maintain your emotional balance within. That coming out right underneath the nine of pentacles tells me as well that you've done a good job. Like maybe the, um, Maybe the universe tossed you this situation because you're feeling one of the lessons that you needed to learn was to walk away from things, letting things go. Um, and that's what you did. You allowed the death and the rebirth. You allowed something to end instead of holding on, instead of trying to control it carrying it with you you know Scorpios can get pretty obsessive over things and I think this was a really good lesson and the nine of pentacles says that you did it you did a great job you did a great job moving on you did a great job finding your own stability um, and it, you may be in this place where like you're feeling really good about yourself you're feeling more in balance with your life this justice card Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. In order to be in this mode, there has to be forgiveness. Okay? You cannot exist in a world where you feel like relationships don't work out for me and I'm not going to pay attention to that part of my life anymore. Um, there has to be balance. You have to be in the middle. So if there was still things within this relationship that when you thought about them, when you thought about this person, they really kind of, you know, like, I don't know, like a punch in the gut, like, damn, that really hurt. Damn, that person really, you know, and you could feel the wound every time you think about it. And that's, that's a weight that you're carrying with you. And it's energy that you're putting into negative thoughts instead of the things that you're contributing to the powerful new opportunities coming your way. So this situation is coming up for you to maintain your own balance. Next to that balance card, message in a bottle. Whatever this communication is, I think it's going to unearth a lot, lot of emotions for you and maybe emotions you didn't even realize you had. Message in a bottle often represents bottled up feelings and emotions coming to the surface and when I feel this card in my hand I actually feel a little bit nause nauseous I feel a little bit queasy um, and I don't know if this is uh, something that you need to say maybe if this person comes back thinking they're gonna be able to just say I'm sorry and move on and everything's gonna be fine but this is going to be an opportunity for you to really say the things you've been holding in. Tell this person how they have really hurt you. This is a really healing energy. But it feels chaotic. It feels like you've got to step out of your comfort zone. It feels like you can't be in control of the situation. You know, one of those feelings like you're holding back tears, refusing to cry. And the harder you hold it in the more ridiculous it is, and this is an opportunity to let it out. The universe wants you to let it out. Now, I don't suggest, because we're in a lot of fiery energy in October, I don't suggest that you just kind of emotionally vomit all over this person um, and definitely be able to control. You're the queen of cups. You could really feel things right now. But... Um, Just be careful. Be careful with where you let this go. Be, I want you to let the feelings out. I want you to feel them because when you let these pent up emotions out, you're filled back up with, a, with energy of love, with forgiveness. Um, it's a much balanced place. These things have to come out. You can't keep them in you. 
the end of the month um I'm getting a timing card with this. So, well, all right, I'm skipping around. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm getting a lot of messages. So let's take a look at this. You have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Magician, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse, underneath the King of Cups, this person feels like they missed an opportunity. Right next to that regret card. They definitely feel like they missed an opportunity. They definitely feel like they took you for granted. Um, that they didn't see that you were their wish fulfillment. Okay? A lot of emotions in this card. A lot of nervous. There's a lot of nervousness in this card. I, and I'm just picking up on this person being incredibly jittery and nervous. Mel, remember when I said we were planting seeds and manifesting? You were planting seeds and manifesting this situation probably with this person. Probably putting in a lot of effort of, I really want this. I really want this to work out. I really want this to be a part of my life. The Magician card. Coming out underneath the Page of Swords. You may have been manifesting this person's communication this person's apology <clears throat> for quite some time i get the feeling that you spent a lot of time and energy in this magician place Page of Pentacles tells me that you may not want this anymore when it comes to you. When this person comes and says, I'm sorry, you know, if they say, let's do this over again, I don't, I don't know if you're going to want it. Now, this could also represent their fear that you're not gonna want to start something new, your fear that you're not going to want to accept this apology, accept this proposal, whatever this is, um, it's definitely an offer for a new beginning. I, I, I don't... You have the <laughs> new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. And I do feel like this is a timing card because we will be having this Sagittarius new moon in November. So I think there's more to come with this story. I think that this is going to finally culminate in November. October might be a lot of internal stuff. Okay, but I'm definitely picking up that the story kind of climaxes in November. So... Page of Pentacles in reverse. You don't have to make any decisions right now. You can take your time with this. Okay? You don't have to answer anybody. You don't have to feel rushed. Although, you know, with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter moving direct, with all of this Uranus energy, you probably will feel like you have to. You probably will want to maybe go on your first instinct and be like oh hell no i'm not like i said you may hesitate this you may try to block this off this four of cups in reverse i can't get over this feeling of anxiousness it's like you really want this to happen you really have been wanting this communication to come in and yet when it comes in you're like Oh my God, no, I can't talk to this person. I don't, I don't want to do this right now. I can't do this right now. Um, yeah. Which tells me that you're still really, you know, queen of water. You're still really in your emotions about this. And you're seeking balance. You're seeking balance in the way that you feel. Now I have to tell you, if something's meant for you, you can't mess it up, okay? You can't mess it up by saying no initially. You can't mess it up. You know, the universe is going to keep giving it to you as well with this manifestation. Like you planted this seed and then the universe brings it to you. It doesn't mean you have to say yes. If this is something that truly drained you, didn't fulfill you, if this was something 
because I'm picking up this karmic lesson that you were meant to walk away from this. So it's certainly not going to work out if this person hasn't changed. But that's what I'm saying. We're in an energy where there is also a possibility that this person has changed. And sometimes I think the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant coming out, you know, is your card. Whatever decision you make, this is a level of ascension for you. This is telling the universe oftentimes that you're ready for the next big thing. So if it's making this concrete, if this is, you know, accepting a proposal or offering somebody, you know, it often represents a commitment of some sort. So this whole situation, whether you want this or not, is still moving you closer to the thing that you really want, the thing that you're really committed to, the thing that you truly desire and you're creating. Oh, retrograde season. Next to that page of pentacles in reverse is imagine. A couple of things with this card. Um, see the moon in it and and there's kind of like these invisible strings also representing the circle card it's a card of two and i just feel like there is this internal connection between the two of you there is an internal connection these cords aren't quite cut yet Page of Pentacles in reverse means that maybe in the 3D world you don't really want this. But you're still really thinking about it. You're still pretty connected to it. You might dream of this person. You might find yourself daydreaming about this person. If you're listening to tarot cards, maybe people are saying things that are really triggering memories with this person. But you're still energetically tied. You're still letting your mind kind of drift to the what ifs. What if this would have been different? What if this would have ended differently? What if I would have done this? What if I would have said this? You know, um, because I'm, I'm picking up a real element of the past in this Imagine card. And we're in a time where we are looking at our past situations. But it's also in a way that we're not going to make the same mistakes. The Imagine card also holds this energy of wanting something better. You know, you don't necessarily have to hate every part of what this past situation is. You could kind of just take the good things, the good qualities that did exist within this. And there's this final healing that occurs. So you could take those good things so that it's okay to say, well, I want to re-experience this. I want to have this experience. I want to have this spark. I want to have this quality in my next relationship. But I also wanted to have these things because you raised your vibration. You want different things now and it's okay. These things are okay. You know, we're in this adjustment phase. This card comes out with the in-between worlds card. Meaning that right now in October, you might still be in this gray kind of unknown. I don't want to go back to the past, but I'm not quite sure what my future is yet. You know, picking up the hangman here, this feels like suspended time period. Meaning you probably won't get an outcome for your situation in October. Again, indicated by that Sagittarius new moon. Don't have to make any decisions right now. What you do have to do is really explore your inner emotions about it. Really find a place of balance to make these decisions. In between worlds with imagine means that the universe has some really yummy stuff coming your way. Is this a part of it or isn't it? Is this just something that you're meant to heal and walk away from? Or is this something that's meant to come with you into this next step of your life? I think it's up to us individually. Um, yeah, Scorpio, really powerful reading. I'm not surprised. Um, not surprised the past is coming back. It's kind of where we are in the planets. Um, please be kind to yourself. Please don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Also, with the Queen of Water, I want to tell you that um, 
when you're in this energy, when you're in this energy, you're absorbing a lot of other people's energy around you. Really important for you to take a step back and protect yourself. It might be a really good idea this month to use um, an obsidian stone or, you know, really any of the black darker stones or a smoky quartz, um, a crystal that could kind of offer you a little bit of protection, um, kind of keep a bubble around you so that, you know, I mean, yeah, you're going to want to feel other people's energies, your, your loved ones, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's about connecting this month for you. It's about connecting on an emotional realm. But it doesn't mean that when you're out at the grocery store or you're with your co-workers or, you know, whatever it is, that you have to necessarily absorb everybody's energy. That's really not a healthy thing to do. And especially at a time when we are in such chaotic energy. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of your energy. Be mindful of your need for rest. I see that a lot when I get this queen of water. Um, it's a time of loving yourself, of honoring yourself. Um, if you are single, nine of pentacles mode, you know, it might be easy to slip into the, I don't really want to be alone. I don't, you know, I have to do everything for myself. Nobody is loving me. But that's kind of the point. And you have the tools that it takes to honor and love yourself. So you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine no matter what. But you're going to be in your feels and you need to honor it and protect it. So be kind to yourself. Hey guys, don't forget if you're here, um, if you would hit the like button. If you enjoy these readings, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to be finishing up the October readings throughout the next week or so. Um, and then hopefully early next week I'll get into another three card spread. Um, the October energy is pretty nuts, so I'm going to try to do as many readings as I can, be here with you guys every step of the way. Um, if this particular reading didn't resonate with you, stay tuned, check some of your other signs, um, and I'll be doing more. So I'm sure that when you are meant to hear the guidance that you need, it will come. All right, guys, I do hope that you have a wonderful October, and I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.